So when I was young, and I'd be at the dinner table with my family, I'd be wolfing down my dinner, and my mom would say, Alan, slow down, take small bites. Well, you know what? That's some of the best advice I ever got, not only with eating, but with life in general. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I talk to a lot of sales reps and business owners every single day, and one of the, the struggles that many of them face or tell me about is that when they write a goal, they don't reach the goal or they don't know how to get to the goal. And here's why. The problem is the goal is always thought of in its entirety as one entity, as one large object to reach. And that's great. You need to have that goal. But if you don't have a roadmap to get there, if you don't know how you're going to get to that goal, you're going to choke on your food, just like I did when I was younger. So what you need to do is to take small bites. And here's an example. So when I decided to write my book, I was very excited. I was like, I'm a writer. I'm going to sit down and this sales book is going to pour right out of me. Well, guess what? That did not happen. It didn't happen because here I was thinking about this completed manuscript, this shiny book, all, all done, all the pages, how heavy it was going to be, how it was going to feel in my hand. But then when I actually sat down to do it and I kept thinking about that finished manuscript, I was frozen. I didn't know what to do. So here's what I decided to do because mom popped in my head and the concept of small bites also popped in my head. So I decided to break the book into pages per week and then per day. So I made a, a small goal to say I'm going to write 10 pages a week and an even smaller goal to do two pages a day. Once you start focusing on the small bites, the small goals, all of a sudden you're, you're having a bunch of successes and a bunch of wins as you're doing this. And then at the end of the five or six months, the big goal is reached because you gave yourself small bites to get there. You see, not giving yourself small bites is like walking into an amusement park and wanting to ride on all the rides at the same time. It can become paralyzing. Because let's say you're a sales rep and you have a big number at the end of the month. You have your quota and there's that number you have to hit and that number becomes a rock. It becomes a big weight on your shoulders. Well, you know what you need to do? Take that rock and break it into a bunch of pebbles. Now you take those pebbles and one at a time you reassemble them. You figure out where they're going to go and how they're going to fit together to get you to that big rock at the end of the month. Because if all you do is think about the big rock and have no idea to get there, you'll never get there. So take small bites. Go forward. Have yourself some big goals, but take the small bites to get there along the way. Because we all know mom was always right.